What is up guys, my name is Uneven Ranger and welcome to Dragon Age Origins. This is the first in a two-part series that I'm going to be doing, covering Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age Awakening, which I suppose, okay, it'll be a three-part series including that, and Dragon Age 2, which I'm hoping to get all this done before Dragon Age Inquisition comes out later this year, which I will definitely be doing a Let's Play of. Holy crap, I can't wait for that game. <laughs> but anyway, coming back to this game, Dragon Age Origins. I've been looking forward to playing this game for a long time. Um, this isn't a blind let's play. I have played this game before. It was a lot of fun. But this was about two or three years ago. So I do not remember most of, most of the game, basically. So... A lot of it is going to be blind. You are going to get quite a few unique reactions from me as the game progresses. Because I never finished the game, you know. I got to a certain point and uh, got distracted by other games. So, as much as I love this game, I've never finished it. So this is going to be very interesting. I, I can't wait to finally finish it. Also, I'll be playing as a character, well, a race, that I never played as before. So, it's... A good portion of it is going to be blind for me. Anyway, to put a bit of backstory onto this, Dragon Age Origins is a RPG. Classic RPG in that it's uh, third person. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it. It describes itself as dark fantasy. I'm not so sure if I would go dark fantasy. Well, it's definitely fantasy. I don't know about how dark. <laughs> um, but it's a very fun game. Now... Just to, I know I've, you know, waffled on quite a lot. I want to jump into the game, but last thing before I start the game is this is going to be a role-playing let's play. As in, I will be doing decisions from my character's point of view. I will not be min-maxing or going to the sacred urn of Kalahuama. Because it will give me a boost to whatever. Because he won't know that. Yes, my character is going to be a guy. Because, believe it or not, I'm a guy. Um, so, yeah. I'm just... I'm not going to be min-maxing. Everything is going to be from the pl the character's point of view. So, don't yell at me if I make stupid decisions and miss out on great loot. Because <laughs> that's probably going to happen at some point. Anyway, let's jump into a new game, and this is going to start a cutscene, which I will be quiet through, but hope you enjoy, guys. We are going to be playing Origins first. And so is the Golden City blackened, with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven, and doom upon all the world. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the Deep Roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, 
barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. So, bloody hell. Um, interesting start to the game. The world is screwed. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, look at our character. I'm going to be playing as a male. Now, originally, I wanted to play as a Dalish elf mage. Because the idea is, if I just quickly go on to them. Uh, no, I'll have to go on to this. The Dalish elves are some of the few remaining uh, true elves. Like... They hold on to their magic and everything that made them who they are. But for some reason, the game said, nope, you're not allowed to be a mage and a Dalish elf. Which makes no sense, because the Dalish elves are well known for having magic still. But okay, I'm not going to judge the game. And a few of my friends have recommended the Dwarf campaign. Saying that it's a great story and that I would really enjoy it. So I'm going to play as the Dwarf, never played as them before, so this is going to be interesting. And I'm going to be playing as a warrior. So this may sound a bit boring, you know, warrior, you know, typical. But I'm hoping that it will... what's the word? I'm hoping to be a bit of a tough military guy. That's the idea I'm taking from this. A guy that's used to making sacrifices, hard choices... Um... Used to playing by a set rule book. He's not someone that will make backroom deals or that sort of thing. I'm also going to be doing the Dwarf Noble start. I could go for a commoner. Castless in a land where rank is everything. Bound as the lackey and fug of a local crime lord, you have spent your life invisible. But, I'm just purely from this... He looks badass. He doesn't. <laughs> I don't know if it's the armour, but he just looks pretty badass. And, yeah, I'm going with that. So, we'll be a dwarf noble. As the favoured child of the dwarven king, you proudly take up your first military command, only to learn that the deadly intrigues of family and sycophants may pose a greater danger than even the battlefield. Greetings. As right. Uh, presets. Uh, apologies, I will be spending a bit of time, you know, playing around with the character creation. If you'd like, you can skip this part. But it's important to me. If I'm going to be playing for the next, what, 30, 40 plus hours as this character, I want to like him, you know. I want him to look right, I want him to sit right with me, if that makes any sense. So, I'm just going to take a bit of time here to... Look through the preset. I kind of like that one. That one looks pretty stereotypical, but good, you know. Uh, <laughs> that's. He looks kind of like an overgrown baby. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I think I'll use this as a starting point. 
So skin tattoos. Um, I kind ah, oh, there's no real decent tattoos for him, unlike the others. So yeah, no tattoos. Maybe a bit. Let's have a look at the others. Like a more deeper skin tone. Do we have? No. All right, that's the best we're gonna get. Okay. Hair. This is gonna be an important one. No, I, I like I like that hair. It's similar to what I have in real life, only a bit shorter. Um, also, I don't tuck my hair behind my ears because that makes you look like a twit. But okay. <laughs> uh, beard. Can I just give him like stubble? Cause I don't know. I know stay. Oh god, that looks terrible. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. He can have a beard. Never mind. Uh. I want to go for like a darker brown. Yeah. Yeah, that's much better. Kind of like how I mine in real life, actually. <laughs> uh, stubble. Hmm. I like that. Okay, yeah. Uh, eyes, I'm not going to bother with too much. Maybe the colour. I can't really see that well. Can you guys? What colour is that? Ah, sort of like a hazel. That'll do. I'm not really bothered about that much. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that stuff. Uh, let's just get the character portrait looking nice. Um, have him on a nice little angle. Mm, zoomed out a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Background. Yeah, we'll go for a nice blue. I like a blue. And, uh, expression. What shall he be... <laughs> I have no clue what he's doing. But, um... Oh, yeah, sort of like the one eyebrow raised. Sort of like the, what the hell are you talking about look. I like that. Finally, the voice. Um... Let's have a, let's have a look no, through, through all of gone. them. My weapon does nothing. Okay, that's wise. Cocky. How do you do? Right. Casting... Focus. No, cocky just doesn't suit him, I don't think. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. Mmm, that's a little better than cocky, but I still think Greetings. wise sounded better. Greetings. I cannot cast it. No. See, I always imagine dwarves as having really deep voices, so I don't know. Charmed, I'm sure. I lost the spell. I need something new. Move aside, please. I kind of like that, actually. Greetings. Oh, my spell. What does it take to kill these things? Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. Oh, it's a tough one, guys. Um. I have lost concentration. Charmed, I'm sure. I lost the spell. This weapon does not coming through. Farewell. I'll go for suave, you know, kind of like the sound of that. Now, what should we call this guy? Hmm. Kin Kovan is what I usually have as my first name, and we can't change the last name, surprisingly. So, we're just going to be Kovan Adukan. God, that's a mouthful. Kovan Adukan. <laughs> Alright, what else? Ooh, okay. Here comes the difficult part. I can't lower these, unfortunately. So, dexterity um, increases chance to hit, makes him more likely to dodge. Yeah, looking at him, he's, he's not exactly the dodging type. <laughs> um, contributes to the damage dealt by piercing weapons such as daggers or arrows. Yeah, no, that's, that's not really important for me. Strength uh, contributes to accuracy of melee attacks. Directly affects the damage a character deals. Uh, yeah, so we'll put three points into strength. Oh, sorry guys, I just had to frog in my throat. Uh, constitution represents health and resilience. So, yeah, I'll definitely put... Less, last of that into there. I think that's about... Yeah, that's good. 
simple and very, very stereotypical, maybe a little bit boring, you could say, but I like it. Now, let's see. Um, do I want stealing? Hmm. What do I want to do? Oh, I definitely want coercion, I think. Uh, strength contributes to a more intimidating character. Oh, that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty nice. Uh, also, the ability to make simple potions would be very good, just like healing potions. But yeah, I'll go for coercion. Make ourselves like a tough, grizzled military commander that's good at talking his way out of things, as well as, you know, punching you in the face. <laughs> All right, let's. Ooh, two points to spend. Powerful. Uh, greater health, reduced fatigue penalty. Or precise striking. Hmm. Weapon and shield. Two I'll definitely be using two-handed, I think. Um, ow. Bloody hell. Sorry, just getting more comfortable, guys. Uh, let's see. Sh what are these attacks? Uh, knocks them out. Well, knocks them to the ground. Uh, stunning blows. Yeah. Okay. Sunder arms. Attempts to hinder the target's ability to fight back rather than going directly for a killing blow. Or mighty blow. Puts extra weight and effort behind a single strike. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I could go for like a shield character, but I don't know. It's quite a difficult one, actually. <laughs> what about dual wielding? Like, I don't know what he could do wield, but... Anyway, for a start, I'm just going to go off with powerful. That's an obvious one. And... Hmm. What else should I go for? See, I don't really want to... What's the word? Um... Commit, I guess, to any of these ones yet. Let's critical strike, uh, single massive blow. Okay. Uh, destroyer. Oh, I like about that. I like the sound of that. And two-handed sweep. Hmm. I, hmm. I think I'll. Yeah, I won't commit to anything. I'll just do the these two, I think. Yeah. Just for now. And I will be playing on normal difficulty. Familiar, uh, recommended setting for players familiar with role-playing games, providing a good balance of challenge and survival ability. It requires moderate use of tactical pause into plan attacks during combat. Although party members can harm each other with careless use of certain abilities, damage due to friendly fire is only half of what it would be against enemies. That's perfect. I am not going for hard or nightmare, because I know how difficult just normal difficulty can be in this game. And I think that's it for us. Uh, at least in the character creation. Finally jump into the game. Inventory screen I, that's going to be useful because I've completely forgotten the controls for this game. <laughs> um, long loading screens. There we are. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Ozimar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Ozimar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Ozimar's impregnable construction, the dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. 
You are the second child of King Endron of House Iduken, the ninth Iduken ruler elected by the noble assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission, the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics. Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? Um, hmm. Yeah, let them see me as a strong warrior. Of course, if every other noble has a shield and three swords, you'll feel awfully underdressed. Um... I'm not going to say that. I'm going to be quite friendly with this guy, because he's obviously a good friend of mine. Uh, you, my friend, are ridiculous. One can't take all this marching about and speech-making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. Uh, what kind of grievances? The usual. This lord had my cousin killed. This lord seduced my wife. This lord did the exact thing I'd planned to do to him, but he did it first. <laughs> they pose and bluster, and each pretends he is the honorable man in a den of thieves and assassins. Bah. The rest is worth seeing, though. As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. I see. So, hmm. Why don't you want to fight in the Proving? Gorim. This is the guy's name, Gorim. Are you trying to back out of something? You remember last year's open proving? It took your father's smith six hours to remove my helmet. <laughs> I'm not meant for single combat. I fight as my lord's second in shield. That's enough for me. Fair enough. Uh, I'm, I'm a warrior, so let's go kick some ass. Right behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. <laughs> 